Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. Topic for this morning: the capital platform for showers of grace. Topic one more time: the capital platform for showers of grace. Host Mahomrisa Luke Kefas, text taken from the book of Luke chapter four, from verse one to fifteen. With further reading, Genesis one one to thirty one, Judges uh, thirteen two to five to twenty five. I beg your pardon. Judges chapter fourteen five to six. Uh, Matthew 3 13 to 17. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be alive this morning. We thank you for your grace, for your mercy that have kept us, that brought us thus far. We've come to hear your word this morning. Father, we ask speak to us and grant us understanding. Grant us grace to become to us of your word and not hear us only. In Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time the capital platform for showers of grace on that series. Uh, host my humble self. Luke Kephas takes taken from the book of Luke chapter 4 from verse 1 to 15. I read from verse 1. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Let's move down to verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out the fame of him throughout all the region round about verse 15. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the heavens and the earth was that form and void. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move upon the face of the earth. And God said, Let there be. And of course, there was light and there was all creation. Down to verse 31, and God saw that everything He has made, and behold, it was very good. But remember, the Spirit of, of the Lord moved before He began. Judges chapter 13 from verse 2 down to 25. Let's see another man that the Spirit of God was upon, talking about Samson. And there was a certain man of, Zo- of Zorah. Of the family of Damites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and bare not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said in verse 3 unto her, Behold, now thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Verse 3 And the angel said unto Manoah, Of all that I have said unto the woman, let her be aware. Verse 24 And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. Move down to verse 25. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move to him at times in the camp of the Dan between Zorah and Ishtua. And down to chapter 14. Then went Samson down on his father and his brother to Temat and came to the vineyard of Temat. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he rent him as he rent a kid. And he made nothing in his hand. But he told his father and his mother what he has done. Uh, Judges 15, at a leisure time you can read that, how the Spirit of the Lord took over Samson again and he caught 300 foxes and took firebrands and turned tail to tail and put a firebrand in the midst between two tails. He did impossible things. Why? Because the Spirit of God was at work in his life. You can read all of the chapters and down to chapter 17. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 3 uh, from verse uh, 13 down to 17 talking about the spirit of the lord taking over i pray that the spirit of god will take charge of you will take preeminence of all your endeavors and your doings in jesus name the lord will make mighty out of you in jesus name one more time topic the capital platform for showers of grace host my humble child look at kefas text the book of luke chapter 4 from verse 1 to 15, we've read that before that reading. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 31, uh, Judges chapter 13 from verse 2 to 25, Judges chapter 14 uh, from verse 5 to 6, uh, Judges chapter 15 from verse 1 to 20, Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13 to 17. They said, Jesus come to Galilee, to Jordan, unto, the, unto John to be baptized of him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, straight away went out of the water, and the Spirit rested upon him, and like a dove. And lightning upon him, and a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Luke said, Hear ye him, this is my beloved son, hear ye him. I pray the Spirit of the Lord will announce to you to your world in Jesus' name. Please, at the leisure time, you can read all of the scriptures, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a man blow word for this morning is not all good things happen everywhere. I think that again, not all good things happen everywhere. Think about this. Today we look at the topic, the capital platform for showers of grace, which are double the teaching series for the week. So please, I implore you to stay connected with us on this platform. I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. By introduction, let us understand that showers of grace is a spiritual virtue and can't be manifested everywhere. 
just like dolphins can be found in shallow waters, same is God's presence that precedes showers of grace. I mean, there are platforms and positions that welcome and engender showers of grace. And until these platforms are deliberately prepared and created, there can't be any grace manifestation. The focal, the foundation, the anchor platform for showers of grace is simply the Spirit of the Lord, talking about the Holy Ghost. So until the Spirit of God is, you can't see manifestation of showers of grace. I pray as you're hearing me this morning, you will be baptized with the Spirit of God afresh, and there shall be diverse manifestations of the showers of grace in your life in Jesus' name. We can read Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 down to 31. Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7 said, And he said, and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Jerubbabel, saying, Not by not by might, not by my power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Tell him verse 7, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone therewith with shoutings, crying, Grace, grace unto it. I pray the grace of God will take over you. That's the Spirit of God. Find expression in your life in the name of Jesus. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 from verse 1 to 41. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rush and mighty wind, and they filled the house where they were sitting. And in verse 3, and they appeared unto them, clothing tongues as of fire, and they sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. Of course, people dwelling around were amazed, thinking that they were drunk. Peter still said, No, we are not drunk. But it is the fulfillment of the prophecy that have gone by by Joel. Say, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He said, uh, My daughters, said your sons, said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see vision, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servant and on the handmaid, I will pour out my spirit. And gladly many received the word, and they were baptized that same day. And about 3,000 souls were added to the church. Very quickly, what is the capital platform for Shards of Grace? Or what are the capital platforms for Shards of Grace? Where do I need to stand to see the manifestation of Shards of Grace? And we're looking at one point this morning. We're looking at the platform of God's Spirit. We're looking at what the platform of God's Spirit. One more time, what's the capital platform for Shards of Grace? Simply, the platform of God's Spirit. This is the foundational base for the manifestation and expression of grace is in an amazing dimension of fashion through the release of heaven's forces and power. I think that again, the platform of God's Spirit, we said it is the foundational base for the manifestation and expression of grace in an amazing dimension of fashion through the release of heaven's forces and power. I pray heaven will release their forces and power towards your direction and I see Grace be manifested in your life in Jesus' name. For so much of the thirty, from verse, uh, <clears throat> uh, verse, uh, verse thirteen, he said, <clears throat> "Excuse me." And when Samuel anointed David with the oil, the Spirit of God rest, rest upon David from that day onward. And the next chapter, chapter seventeen, we saw David face Goliath, brought Goliath down. Why? Because the Spirit of God was at work in his life. So as the Spirit of God comes upon you, you began to do the impossible. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30 from verse 8 to 20. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them without fear. Recover all that after the land of Ziglar was besieged by the enemies. David went after this troop <coughs> with 600 men. And verse 10, But David pursued he and 400 men. Verse 17, and David smote from the temple even unto the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them, save 400 young men, uh, which rode on the camel and fled. Verse 18, and David recovered all that the Amalekites have carried away, and David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great. In verse 19, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil, nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all, and David took all the flocks and the herds which he drove before them. This is David spoil. Why the Spirit of the Lord was walking in him. As the Spirit of God comes upon you, I see the manifestations of great grace at work in your life and in your family in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4, from verse 1 to 15, Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of Jesus. There went out a fame. He was in the carpenter's workshop. No one knew Jesus. Indeed, the Holy Ghost came upon him. 
after his baptism, he went to fast and pray for 40 days. Uh, afterward, he came down, and there was what? An announcement of his name all over town. The Lord will announce it to your world in Jesus' name. Romans 15, 19, through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, that from Jerusalem ran about unto Libya, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ as a testimony of Paul the Apostle. John chapter 17, 4 to 5. You can read that at your leisure time. One more time, what's the capital platform for Shouts of Grace? And we're dwelling on the capital we're talking about, the platform of God's Spirit. When for that, say this is the foundational base for the manifestation and expression of grace in an amazing dimension of fashion through the release of heaven's forces and power. You can read first Samuel chapter 16, 13, uh, first Samuel chapter 17, the whole of chapter 17, first Samuel chapter 30 from verse 8 to 20, Luke chapter 4 from verse 1 to 15, John chapter 17 from verse 4 to 6. Please, a leisure time, you can read all of these Bible passages, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, it is important we know that until the Spirit of God appears in our lives and abroad, our situation may remain the same. I mean, our struggles in life continue because grace will be far away from us. Remember, it is grace that makes the journey to destiny great and colorful. But until we create the right atmosphere for God's Spirit and manifestation, we will never see showers of grace. The Spirit of God is the right platform for showers of grace. Certainly, the Spirit of God can only be accessible by the children of God. Meaning, anyone outside of Christ cannot have access to the Spirit of God. And when you don't have access to the Spirit of God, you can't have access to showers of grace. And that's the reason why you see many people struggling in life. They remain on one spot for 10 years, 20 years, same career, without change, without advancement. All of this is a show of lack of grace. When you carry grace, everything prospers, everything becomes fruitful. However, as I've said earlier, I said the Spirit of God can only be accessible by the children of God. And as such, I charge you to accept and to confess Jesus to be to be a Lord and your Savior. So you can manifest the Spirit of God. You can manifest the grace of God. For Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, the Spirit of the Lord came upon David when he was anointed with oil by Saul. In the next chapter, chapter 17, he brought down a great Goliath. Of course, uh, 1 Timothy 2, chapter 4, and verse 12. Talking about the Spirit of God making things to to become great. Romans chapter 10 verse 10. Of course, uh, the thief cometh to steal to get to destroy. Jesus came that you and I may have life. John 10:10. 10, 10. Uh, Romans 10. Talking about the grace of God taking us to the top. With the mouth, confession is made, and of course, salvation. So we need to confess salvation with our mouth. In Galatians, the Christ have redeemed us from the cost of the law. I want to pray with you if you are interested and to place you on your chest and bow your head and pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. Forgive me my sins and you come to this earth for my sake and the third day rose for my freedom. Right now, Jesus, I confess it to my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Write my name in the book of life and grant me grace to please you for the days of my life in Jesus' name. I take two prayers. First prayer, Father, let your spirit take over me. And by your spirit, let there be a move of showers of grace in my life and family in the name okay. of Jesus. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, uh, from verse 6 down to 8, verse 8, 5 said, And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Ghost. And the next uh, verse, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Father, let your spirit take over me. And by your spirit, let there be a move of showers of grace in my life and family in the name of Jesus. Father, let your spirit take over me and let your spirit create a move of showers of grace in my life and family in Jesus' name. Last prayer, Father Lord, cause your spirit to overwhelm your redeemed children for great grace, testimonies on the earth in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians chapter 3, uh, 17 to 18 said, Now the Lord is our spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord there is liberty. But we are with open face, beholding us in the glass. In the glass, the glory of the Lord are changing the same image from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. Father, Lord, cause your spirit to overwhelm your redeemed children for great grace and testimony on the earth. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercession ministry. God blesses you tomorrow as we continue on this teaching series. God bless you. Thank you for your time. May this week be a week of fruitfulness. This week shall be a week of good news and favor for you. In Jesus